we are continuing our series on endometriosis and in this video we will discuss about ovarian involvement that is also called chocolate cyst of the ovary so the endometrial tissue is in ovary now this tissue will just regenerate and degenerate just like it happens in the uterine cavity along with the estrogen and progesterone so some amount of bleeding is happening every month in a closed chamber like cyst so this blood collected will converted into brown terry fluid collection so if we see the chocolate cyst the fluid in that is a brown terry fluid what is that that is nothing but a converted collected blood this cyst most commonly bilaterally happens and uh, generally not bigger than 12 centimeters along with that the cyst is associated with adhesions to the alongside tissues like peritoneum broad ligament and these things what is the investigation we do ultrasound and on ultrasound we can see a ground glass appearance this is a ovary and this uh, appearance is ground glass appearance seen in the tvs so we can call it endometrioma at that time now the gold standard method is a lepro diagnostic laparoscopy in which we can see directly that uh, this is the chocolate cyst now what is the treatment if the cyst is less than 3 cm, we can do a laparoscopic drainage followed by electrocoagulation. But if the cyst is more than 3 cm, we can have to remove that cyst that is laparoscopic cystectomy or marsupialization. When we remove the cyst, there is very, uh, very difficult to remove the only cyst because some amount of ovarian tissue is also lost. So we just don't want to that, we just don't want to lose the ovarian tissue but yes. If the cyst is more than 3 cm and it is bigger in size, we need to remove those cysts. Because chocolate cyst does not resolve on the medical measures. Thank you.